chapter we are going to start with yeah the next chapter we are going to start with is periodic properties okay so this uh, a particular chapter it is basically the first chapter of the inorganic chemistry okay the first chapter of inorganic chemistry so basically here we are not going to see any numerical questions like we had in uh, some basic concepts of chemistry or atomic structure you will have a theoretical uh, questions into this right uh conceptual questions you will get yes there are few things in fact many things you have to memorize here right but certain terms that we are going to understand here like you remember in goc i have discussed electronegativity concept remember that organic is easy shashwat okay then see i don't i don't get this thing uh, you know this concept of easy or tough it's basically something is easy for you and for someone it is difficult because he may he may be you know probably he did not understand the concept properly so if you understand the things i know there's nothing tough here but yes there will be you know the nature of the topic maybe like you know there are many things to memorize to mug up maybe that could be a you know the boring part of it that you can say but easy tough i don't get into this concepts okay, it's just you know if you understand it fine if you don't you won't get it i right? do find it tough maths you know basically the concept is the math is a very vast subject right but you if you like maths you won't be scared of it yes or no so i i don't get into this concept of easy and tough okay try to understand this okay you will get it not a problem organic also if you are if you are finding it tough just give it some time revise the concept that has been taught right and get back to me if you have any doubt right if you run away from the topic that you are not getting in you are not going into the right direction right understand that anyways so in organic chemistry like i said here you know uh, you we are not going to get the numerical questions there are concepts we need to understand terms we need to understand factors affecting it we need to understand that particular terms factors will be using in the entire chemistry whether it is physical especially in organic in organic chemistry will use that okay so here we are going to understand for example like i told you we have used a term that is electronegativity that will discuss in this chapter okay same thing but little bit more will discuss nothing much okay so when you know all these terms then we can uh, no normality will do after this after this we'll start more concept to there will discuss about normality redox reaction and all will concept will do over there after this okay a small chapter it won't take much time but i think maybe you know two and a half class requires depending upon it depends upon you like how much doubt you ask that's all so the point is in organic chemistry periodic properties like i said we are, we are going to understand here about the periodic table how the periodic table uh, you know designed what is the you know thought behind this why we need periodic table and then various trend in the periodic table like one thing you must know as you go down the group what happens in periodic table size increases or decreases as we go down the group size increases this trend you know right so these kind of trends we are going to understand here right what are the factors affecting uh, the atomic size or ionic size okay those things we are going to discuss okay so the thing is when when they were you know scientists were looking at for different different atoms there were very few elements known right so that point of time what happens uh, you know they can understand the property of that particular atom because suppose if you have 8 or 10 odd uh, atoms known then you can memorize the properties there's no need to arrange them in a proper way so that you can keep that in mind that what happens right 
but when the time uh, like when the study goes on and on the research was they were doing various different kinds of research right and that took, they get to know there are so many different different atoms exist in the nature right so as the number of atoms increases elements different different types of elements increases they start they this thing like to keep that you know uh, properties and various other things for those particular atoms in mind it becomes difficult and they started looking for the arrangement of atoms in a particular way based on their properties based on their electronic configuration based on their nature many other things right so they started looking for the arrangement of atoms in a particular way so in this way they have given different different theory it is similar to the various atomic models that we had okay various scientists they started looking for the arrangement of subatomic particles and they have given their own theory which we call it as various atomic models so here we have once there are so many elements known so we started looking for the arrangement of atoms so that it is easier for us to keep the, the keep those properties for a particular element in mind so in this way we get different different theories that we call it as the attempt to get the periodic table right the, and the final arrangement that we have of atoms according to their properties or atomic number basically that arrangement is the periodic table the modern periodic table we have okay so this theory this entire you know uh, attempt that is made that we discuss under the development of periodic table right so first of all you see what are the attempts made for the development of periodic table so write down quickly we'll finish this because on this you are not going to get any question right so quickly you write down development and in the uh, present no the recent syllabus they have removed this historical part of it okay so it is not there in the uh, board syllabus that's why we'll go quickly on this okay development of periodic table we cannot ignore this completely because maybe you know in 2022 uh, you know they may ask you these things in the exam j or information must required right that's why i will go through it quickly the first attempt was made by the scientist called plots right and this theory we call it as plots theory plots synthesis or plots plots hypothesis not synthesis it's not a plots hypothesis quickly write down what he said he assumed that all elements are made up of hydrogen which was obviously the you no know, wrong not correct but yes we have to go through once he assumes that or he suggested he suggested that all atoms are made up of of hydrogen which was obviously wrong and we discarded it right and atomic weight for any element what he uh, says the atomic weight of any element is equals to n where n is the number of hydrogen atom present in it right this is the first theory that we get for the arrangement of atoms the second one is and which is a bit important that is dobernier triad rule d o b e r e i n e r dobernier triad rule
write down he suggested that he suggested that that within a group of three elements group of three elements within a group of three elements having similar physical and chemical properties similar physical and chemical properties the atomic weight of the middle element of the middle element of the middle element is the mean of the other two is the mean or average of the of the other two this is what he suggested okay for example you see atomic weight is the concern we have atomic weight not number okay keep that in mind it is atomic weight so if you take an example of lithium sodium and potassium okay the atomic weight of lithium is 7 potassium is 39 so if you take the average of the two that is 23 is the atomic weight of sodium and it follows double near triad rule okay if you take calcium strontium and barium the atomic weight of calcium is 40 and for barium it is 137 and the average value is 88.5 right that is the atomic weight of strontium the exact no it's not for all the things not true only for few groups of elements okay the exact value of strontium the exact atomic weight is 88 but still it is close so we can consider this right the exact value is this okay if you see sulfur selenium and tellurium sulfur is 32 tellurium is 128 so that would be 160 and this selenium is 80 so it is valid for this also right so this is the dobernier triad rule okay all elements could not arrange this way and that's why we discarded this particular one. but yes it is important in exam also there was this question that which of these groups of elements follows this particular rule dobernier triad then but yeah they won't ask this i i i we cannot say next year what happened because we are going to write the exam in 2022 no so maybe they'll if, if the things get in place then they will again introduce all these things back right so that's why we are not uh, you know uh leaving those things we can just go through it quickly okay that's how we are doing ah uh, in board exam you won't get this they won't ask you these things in the board exam that for sure right third one you write down the third attempt made was uh, 
न्यूलैंड्स ऑक्टेव रूल न्यूलैंड्स ऑक्टेव रूल he suggested write down if the elements are arranged if the elements are arranged in order to their increasing atomic weight their increasing atomic weight then every eighth element every eighth element had similar properties similar properties to the first one the first one like like the first and eighth first and eighth note in music like sa re ga ma pa da ni sa right so sa and sa the eighth one right sa re ga ma pa da ni sa so same thing we have here if you arrange this atom you see we have a uh, lithium beryllium then we have boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and then sodium we have sodium here magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine and potassium so if you compare this with the musical note sa re okay so all these elements has similar properties like we have this one if you compare this and this right similar properties but yes this thing was also was also not found to be correct for all the elements right and there is no place for inert gas inert gas was not uh, discovered and all elements could not classified on this basis and hence we have discarded this the next one is the next one is lothermia curve right down he plotted a curve a graph plotted a graph between atomic weight atomic weight and atomic volume
atomic volume of different elements see all these attempts made with atomic weight only here also we have atomic weight and atomic volume and he observe a particular pattern and that pattern is you see this graph here the graph is this okay this we call it as lothamia curve okay this is the curve we get what he observed in this that the electropositive element that is the first group group 1 alkali metals right the electropositive elements like alkali metals occupy the peak position on the curve you see here electropositive elements occupy the peak position you see lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium right this red dots are electropositive elements electro positive elements okay second observation is what the less electro positive uh, elements that is the group 2 elements alkaline alkaline earth metal occupy the descending position you see lesser electro positive than this one occupies the descending position which is this see this beryllium magnesium then calcium strontium barium okay this red one is the elements of group 2 right the first one is group 1 lesser electro positive is group 2 no it is not sashwat still it is not clear we cannot uh, assure this on this okay metalloids and the transition metals occupy the bottom part of the curve you see the metalloids and transition elements on the bottom part vanadium cobalt copper zinc this side you see this side you see metalloids and transition elements occupy the bottom parts of the curve right more electronegative like halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine occupy the ascending position of the curves ascending position right so ascending position you see here here we have chlorine bromine iodine somewhere here we have chlorine right so ascending position of the curve there is halogen atoms present this kind of pattern he observed like with a given mass the volume occupies in this pattern that is what he said right but the problem with this is that he concluded what with this particular graph that the atoms with similar properties elements having similar properties occupy similar position on the curve like all electro positive metals occupy the peak electronegative occupy the ascending part of the curve right lesser electro positive descending part of the curve this is what he concluded with this and he suggested write down he concluded on the basis of lothamia curve he concluded on the basis of lothamia curve that the physical properties of the elements are 
physical properties of the elements are physical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic weight the physical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic weight okay so this was uh, again uh, uh, you know a better uh, result we get from this and this conclusion actually that the periodic function of the atomic weight the properties are this conclusion becomes the base of the next attempt which is mendeleev's periodic table okay so next you write down the fifth one wait on the basis of lothermeyer curve he concluded that the physical properties of the elements are that the physical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic weight periodic function of their atomic weight okay this is the conclusion of this next next one is mendeleev periodic table mendeleev periodic table write down he suggested that he suggested that the physical and chemical properties of an element that the physical and chemical properties of an element are the periodic functions of their atomic weight right physical and prop and chemical properties are the periodic function of their atomic weight he is again talking about atomic weight okay so this is important physical and chemical properties are the periodic function of their atomic weight okay so atomic weight we are dealing with not number okay he was the first scientist who actually arranged the elements in horizontal and um horizontal rows and in vertical columns right so the horizontal rows that we that he arranged here the horizontal rows are called periods and the vertical column the vertical column are called groups are called groups so there are when he give this particular theory there are total seven periods in the mendeleev periodic table there are seven periods present this also they ask in exam 
and if you talk about the row that is group there are eight groups only 63 elements were known seven periods and eight groups were present that time okay next write down each group just a second ah uh, lotomia was correct yeah it is not wrong is correct it gives us an gives us an idea <coughs> that you know the properties had some it has some periodic order with the elements but not completely correct because atomic weight he was taking because atomic weight only mendeleev's also discarded after some time right but the the you no know, conclusion that we get that physical and chemical pro properties could be in a periodic manner it it may get changed with the elements so periodic thing was correct but atomic weight since he has taken that's why we discarded this later lothamia ko Okay, just a second, Pranav. Just a second. See, write down next line into this. write on each group each group up to 7 not 8 one up to 7 is divided into is divided into a and b subgroups subgroups where a is for normal elements normal elements and b we use for transition elements b subgroups is for transition element transition elements okay write down the eighth group the eighth group consist of nine elements consist of nine elements in three rows consist of nine element in three row rows and this we call it as transition metal group yes so pranav there are some you know discrepancies in this theory and that's why later on we discarded this also it is also not completely wrong but again this is not uh you know valid for all the elements he could not accommodate all the elements and hence we discarded this particular theory also after some time but this was the first attempt made in which we get a tabular form of the elements we can arrange 
uh, after this only we started thinking of the arrangement of elements in a table like this right mendeleev to some extent it is he was so correct that there were some element for whom the position and properties for whom position and properties were well defined by mendeleev even before their discoveries okay he gave this theory and for some elements which was not discovered at that point of time he left the position blank for those elements okay so this was the you know the biggest achievement of mendeleev's we have he could find out those things and could left the uh, space blank for those particular elements in its periodic uh, table right but then again with the help of uh, atomic weight right this arrangement of atoms was not finding was not you know observed to be correct for all the elements right there will be some difference in property here and there so later on this particular theory was also discarded right so defects is what there is no certainty in the position of hydrogen few drawbacks of this point you write down mendeleev position of hydrogen is uncertain drawback of mendeleev write down position of hydrogen he did not fix it was uncertain right then no separate position were given to isotopes last one the order of increasing atomic weights is not strictly followed the order of increasing atomic weights is not strictly followed in the arrangement of elements in the periodic table yes 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 fine but there are other drawbacks also because of that only we discarded this so the modern periodic table is just a little bit correction in mendeleev only okay we'll discuss that next class last point you write down the order of increasing atomic weights is not strictly followed in the arrangement of elements in the periodic table so this was the drawback the modern periodic table is what it is just the modified mendeleev periodic table some corrections we do into this one and we get the modern periodic table so what is modern periodic table how the arrangements of atoms are there that we'll discuss next class okay guys okay thank you guys thank you so much atomic structure guys on learnest there are three assignments uploaded right it a mixed question you must solve all those all the three assignments okay all of you have learnest credibility you have credentials all of you have right fine those who did not finish it finish it by the next class fine okay thank you guys thank you so much take care bye thank you sir thank you sir thank you